There was a many a night in the early 80s when we had winters that I'd be hanging on that steering wheel for dear life coming down 158 and just past where Frank Scott Parkway and 158 intersect and catch a first glimpse of the water tower. And I'd say, I'm going to make it. One more night, I'm going to make it home. The Millstadt Water Tower is important because it's iconic of, of small town America. A lot of folks who grew up in Millstadt uh, and are just anywhere in this area, maybe they still live here, maybe they live in other parts of the country or the world, have stories and a connection to the water tower. One thing that's cool about it is, I don't remember what grade it happens in Millstadt School, but they do take a field trip around town. I believe it is sixth grade. So the spring, they'll take a field trip around town and I don't know what's pointed out, maybe the fire department, the water tower, the library, the police department, whatever they're seeing, I don't want that water tower ever to be off that list. It's a very unique uh, landmark and it uh, benefits the entire area, gives us a uh, special identity. So this is not just a Millstadt thing, but it's for everybody. I am a lifelong resident of rural Millstadt, so the water tower has been a part of my life as long as I could remember. And I do remember biking to town when I was young and playing in the park under the water tower. My husband lived within a block of the tower and used to play uh, ball under it. And um, I feel like it is Millstadt's icon. It has character. It's unlike most water towers that are built today. And uh, I think a lot of people that have lived in Millstadt in the past and currently live in Millstadt have many memories of the water tower. It, it looks like it might be ready to fall over tomorrow, but that is not the case. It's simply the paint that has um, rusted off. A certified structural engineer, Scott O'Neill, donated his time and climbed the tower to inspect it, and he wrote up an engineering report as per his industry certification and standards that it is structurally sound. Uh, the only thing that make, is making it look bad is its cosmetic uh, appearance on the exterior. We are a 501c3 charity. Donations to us are deductible. People can help by, uh, they can join our organization, Friends of the Old Millstadt Water Tower. It's $12 a year dues. We meet on the second Tuesday of the night at the Millstadt Community Center at 7.30. Our website, www.millstadtwatertower.org. There is a provision on there you can uh, donate through PayPal, or there is the tried and true way of writing a check and mail it payable to Friends of the Old Millstadt Water Tower and mailing it to P.O. Box 335, Millstead, Illinois, 62260. We have uh, t-shirts. One is what I'm wearing. It looks like a fish stand. And then we have our the one that is the most popular is the one that the Tin Man needs your help, and it's in maroon and white, which are the Millstead colors. And the t-shirts are $18. We have buttons, are $2 a piece. We have hoodie sweatshirts that uh, are $32 a piece. We have coasters that show the Millstead Water Tower. They are four of them for $10. And we have greeting cards that you can make anniversary greetings, birthday greetings, Christmas greetings, or just greetings greetings. If you shop at an IGA store, clip off the IGA barcodes and get them back to Millstead IGA. And we're also recycling empty inkjet cartridges uh, at IGA. And if you shop online through Amazon, click on the Amazon Smile. Amazon Smile will, in some cases, donate 0.5% of the purchase price to us. Keep an eye on our Facebook page. We'll have that posted on what's coming up. I ask everyone in the village and the in Millstadt and those who have ever lived in Millstadt or appreciate the tower to help us support it so we can have it for years to come.